Today I'm going to show you 10 habits you can adopt in your routine so you can have a more fit and healthier body than most men. Some people have amazing fitness health that you'd sometimes wonder what their secret is. Well, it's mostly thanks to their series of habits that have allowed them to be in tip-top shape. And no, these habits won't require you to do anything crazy or drastic. This video gives you 10 health and fitness tips so you can start the right path to having a better body and a more fulfilling life. Is progressive overload that important? Should you practice mindful eating? Stay tuned until the end and I'll tell you two most important lessons I learned during the whole journey of having a better, healthier body. Number 1. Start your day early Waking up early is one of the secret codes of fit people. When the world is quiet, you can set the tone for your day, fuel your body by making healthy diet choices, and follow a good exercise routine. Instead of succumbing to the warmth of your bed and hitting the snooze button, use that extra time to be productive. What I do is set my alarm one hour earlier than usual and then adjust my bedtime schedule accordingly. Also, I make sure to get the recommended 7-8 to eight hours of sleep for adults whenever possible so it won't be a pain to wake up early. So yes, it's just like they say, early birds do get the worm, and in this case, a body that's superior to 99% of men. There's no better way to fuel your day than a highly satisfying protein-rich breakfast. Don't you think so too? Number 2. Eating a high protein breakfast For those breakfast eaters out there, keep it up. That and make your meal loaded with proteins. Definitely no donuts, sugary cereals, and other products processed foods. These types of food would only get in your way of having a productive day as they're going to cause insulin spikes, resulting in less energy and contributing only to body fat accumulation. Instead, eat some real foods, the highly nutritious ones. As for those who are used to skipping breakfast, you should reconsider that habit. Fit men know that a high-protein breakfast offers a couple of benefits. First off, it reduces post-meal cravings later in the day to avoid unhealthy snacking. Secondly, it helps burn fat a lot easier. And lastly, protein-rich meals are are far less likely to cause fat gain. Protein is one of the three macronutrients that the body needs. It's also a complex one that, when broken down, provides the body with amino acids. Amino acids are molecules that assume several roles in the body including muscle maintenance, tissue building, and nutrient transport among many things. Your total daily protein needs depend on your weight. To simplify things, I recommend eating 20-40 to 40 grams of protein at each meal of the day, not just at breakfast. You don't have to eat bacon and eggs every single morning. Tons of foods are are packed with protein including cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, oats, whole grains, soy products, seeds, and nuts. All the food you've eaten should be put to good use. And since your goal is to build a healthy, nicely toned body, then you should get your workouts in. But more on that coming up in a bit. Number 3. Drink lots of water not drinking enough fluids is a very common mistake many guys make, whether consciously or unconsciously. Water is as vital as the air we breathe. It's necessary for every body function such as digestion, energy production, and detoxification. In fact, drinking lots of water aids in weight loss. Plus, drinking plenty of water will help maintain the fluid balance of your body, allowing the nutrients to be transported efficiently. This leads to experiencing the benefits of the healthy foods you eat quicker and better. I'm not sure if you've heard of this, but it's actually true that you can mistake thirst for hunger causing you to overeat. Pretty insane, huh? Moreover, when you're stressed or your muscles are overworked from exercise, you should be chugging down even more water. Insufficient water supply will make your muscles get worn out faster and your performance may not be as good. It's why one of my fundamentals in life, not just fitness-wise, is to aim for about a gallon of water per day. You shouldn't just be drinking water only during mealtime, rather make it a habit to drink more. One easy way to incorporate this habit into your life is to have a glass or two of water first thing in the morning. In order to have an aesthetic body and stay in shape, you must learn the importance of planning and preparing your own meals. Stick around to find out why. Number 4. Plan and make your meals at home Make it a routine to plan your meals as well. Since you're waking up early, you may spare a few minutes to plan your meals. Determine what foods you're going to eat on that day. Healthy people either wake up with most of their food ready for the day or have a plan as to what they'll be buying, cooking, or eating. I'm sure many people don't care much to plan and prepare for their meals. But if you want to change for the better, then I suggest you heed my advice on this one. Taking control of your food choices beforehand is a very effective way of avoiding the urge to pick up something unhealthy. Number 5. Exercise regularly Men with dream bodies aren't able to stay fit without a consistent exercise routine. In fact, they completely understand the importance of exercising their bodies regularly, so they make it a priority among most things. Even when you're dog tired or super busy, a brief workout is better than nothing at all. The standard recommendation is to be physically active two to three days per week, totaling at least 150 minutes of exercise per week. If you can make it to the gym, consider allotting 15 minutes to exercise. You can just do jumping jacks, burpees, push 
push-ups and many other home exercises. During gym days, do resistance training as this type of exercise is excellent at shedding waistline fat. Additionally, it also helps boost testosterone production, thus enhancing your overall wellness. Other good tips you can follow to maximize your time are bring exercise equipment with you to work, a resistance band, a small dumbbell, etc. Include different physical activities by trying cycling, swimming, crossfit, hiking, or a new sport. Invest in the right equipment at home. Be around others who are on the same journey as you. Try a yoga class to improve flexibility and mindfulness. Pair together routine activities such as brushing your teeth with small fitness activities such as standing on one leg. In addition to getting your regular workouts in, one fitness rule you must always keep in mind is to Number 6. Apply Progressive Overload Proper training is incredibly important, proper being the operative word. This means lifting weights a few times a week without rhyme or reason isn't going to yield good results. What you need is to apply the principle of progressive overload, a training protocol that involves continuously upgrading the demands on your musculature to consistently earn gains in muscle size, strength, and endurance. Put simply, the constant work of putting your muscles under harder and newer work is the key to getting bigger and stronger. Here are four ways to apply progressive overload. Number one, adding more repetitions. Instead of stopping at the standard 8 reps per set, make it 12 reps. Once you hit 12 reps, increase the weight as indicated below. Number 2. Increasing resistance Increasing the demands placed on your muscles means increasing the load or weight. Clearly, at first, you won't be able to do as many reps. But once you can, it's time to shoot up the weight again. Number 3. Increasing volume an increase in volume means an increased total amount of work done by your muscles, thereby boosting the total demand for the muscle tissue. To do this, instead of the usual three sets, do four sets of a given exercise. Number four, reducing rest time between sets. Instead of resting for two minutes between sets, aim for 90 seconds. When that becomes too easy, reduce it to 60 seconds. If you have an injury or simply want to lower the risk of injury, this method might be your best option since you can still promote muscle growth without straining your body too much. Letting your body rest and recover is just as essential as exercising itself. Number 7. Take days off You're trying to follow and stick to a training program, and to make that happen, you need to be consistent. And so, taking a break for a few days might do more harm than good. It might look that way at first glance, but actually, this training habit can help you. Think of it as a way of giving yourself a little bit of leeway to do your program imperfectly. If you're too rigid with following your routine and creating a fitness habit based on perfect standards, a small hiccup along the road can easily throw you off course and cause you to give up. The key here is to plan for off days so your training program is more sustainable. Besides, your body will love you for this. Keep in mind these tips on how to add this habit to your life. Number 1. Dedicate one day per week to take one active recovery Active recovery can be in the form of low-intensity cardio or a yoga class. Yoga is good for flexibility and open for guys, so don't let your buddies tell you otherwise. Number 2. Have at least one total day off during each training week. You can be physically active if you wish to, but no strenuous activities or workouts on that day. Adding such a day into your training plan can help ease the anxiety you may feel like most lifters about spending a day away from the gym. Number 3. Be flexible when your off days occur in your program. If your situation doesn't permit you to have one to three days per week to get to the gym, it's no big deal. Your training program is resilient enough to absorb those changes. You can just pick up right where you left off. Number four, training can become something you love. Lots of people start with hating it only to fall in love later with the process. And so it can be hard to be away from something that you love, but your body and mind need a break too. Therefore, think of your off days as a vital part of getting a stronger, more attractive body. Also, many people think that having an attractive body includes having veiny arms. If your team yes to veiny arms, then you're in luck because I'm going to tackle that too in a bit. Number 8. Make healthy diet choices The best way to make healthy diet choices is to eat mindfully. An integral part of mindful eating is to slow down to focus on the food itself and not rush down a meal as you work at your desk or watch a movie. It's more than just eating slowly and enjoying each bite. Eating mindfully is also about paying attention to which foods you enjoy eating. Studies suggest that making yourself eat foods you dislike and restricting yourself to the foods you love is less likely to be fruitful at reaching your nutritional goals. To make your diet plan more sustainable but still healthy, be flexible with your food choices. Here are some steps to make this transition a little smoother and eventually turn into a habit. Number 1. Pay attention to each meal you make Think about the reason you're choosing that particular meal or snack. 
Is it because you're hungry, bored, or stressed? Are you excited to eat because it's delicious? Do this for one meal per day to start making it a habit. Number two, slowly chew one meal each day to really focus on the texture and flavor of the food. Plus, this may also help digest the food more effectively. Gradually do this step for more meals until it becomes a regular thing when eating. Number three, if possible, don't multitask while you eat. This includes working in front of your computer as you eat. This way, you can pay attention to your food, avoid overeating, and feel more satisfaction from each meal. Do you watch television as you eat? I did that a lot in the past, but I've learned to slowly get out of that habit. I still do it some days, but definitely not as often as before. What about you? Do you think you're mindful when you eat? Comment your answers and thoughts below. Number nine, practice portioning. You might have gotten the advice to track your macros or count your calories, but that's just not going to work for many people. Strength athletes with a history of body image struggles and disordered eating habits may want to stay far away from counting calories. And tracking your macronutrients can get overwhelming very quickly. Monitoring your macros or counting your calories has its merits. However, it isn't sustainable for many people, not to mention that they can be overwhelming. Instead of doing that, a simpler alternative would be to estimate your portions. It's quick and far easier to get used to and improve with time. My go-to method for estimating my macros is to make use of my hands. A fist for one cup of rice or other carbs. A palm for three to four ounces of meat or other proteins. A thumb for a tablespoon of olive oil or other fats. For at least one meal each day, I place my veggies on the plate before anything else. I try to fill half the plate with vegetables and plan the rest of my plate accordingly. If you aren't used to meal prepping, gradually ease into it by preparing one to two meals ahead each week to build this habit. When portioning, don't be overly strict. If the portions aren't precise or if you wind up consuming a bigger amount of a certain food simply because you enjoy it, let it be. Habits and general practices are closely tied together, so they have to be sustainable for you as an individual. Counting your calories is an important diet habit you should take to heart. The same is true with having a good sleeping routine. Number 10. Get a good night's rest one of the things people take for granted all the time is to sleep. I bet many of you do relate to this. In fact, some like to brag about only getting three to four hours of sleep at night because it makes them look like a hard worker. But here's the thing. Sleep deprivation is as terrible as eating unhealthy food. Healthy effects aside, it also messes up your fitness goals. The less sleep you get, the less strong you're likely going to get. If you get plenty of sleep, the high quality one at that, the more you progress in the gym. When you get more sleep, your muscular endurance, strength capacity, and reaction times all tend to increase. Similarly, your mood and feelings about the activity tend to improve. This is important because you're more likely to stick to a habit when you find joy in doing it. Here are three sleep hacks you should consider. Number one, go to sleep 10 minutes earlier each night until you're going to bed a full hour earlier than you were before. Number two, prioritize quality over quantity by keeping electronics out of your bedroom and avoid scrolling yourself to sleep. Number three, keep your bedroom cool at night, which may help you sleep harder and better. So either learn to manage your time better so you don't have to skimp on sleep or learn to say no more so you never wind up having more things on your plate than you can handle. Since you've stuck around until this part, here is what I promised you at the start of the video. Two lessons you should keep in mind during this whole transition. Learn to enjoy. The majority of fit people aren't avid fitness fanatics, and even still, these people include exercise into their routine simply because it's become a habit that they've come to enjoy. Rather than having a tunnel-focused vision of your goals, why not let yourself enjoy the process of getting fit? Doing so makes it easier for you to make adjustments along the way, and more importantly, it gets rid of the impatience factor, so you don't end up quitting halfway through. Stop comparing yourself with others. As you start exercising in the gym, you'll see a lot of people who are in much better condition than you. Don't let this dishearten you. You're only starting, so it'll take a while. Also, compete with yourself only, not anyone else. As long as you're getting stronger and bigger, then you're doing it right. You'd always encounter people who are stronger and more ripped than you. Instead of making it your goal to surpass them, use your own progress as a measure to determine how well you're doing. This way, you'd always feel a sense of accomplishment and enthusiasm in whatever you're doing. Listen, even after following those 10 habits, there's still one more thing you should do to achieve an overall better and more attractive body than most men. Make sure to watch this next video to learn how.